meteorologist Hunter Ward coming to you March 11th. Uh, got a really interesting system. We've been watching it for the past couple days. Was thinking that, you know, a dusting to an inch of snowfall would be possible around uh, portions of western North Carolina. As I uh, begin to digest some data today, model totals are coming in higher. Uh, they're going to switch that band of snow over a little bit earlier, uh, around 3 to 4 a.m. It looks like we're going to see uh, you know, three or four hours of pretty heavy snowfall around western North Carolina. No, snow, no sun uh, to be uh, contended with. So it looks like from 4 to 8 a.m. or so, we could see uh, heavy snow fall around western North Carolina in, uh, in many locations. So uh, I've, got a, I've got an accumulation map up for you, and uh, we'll, we'll get to that in just a second. I want to thank Red Wolf Contracting Services, CP Cruise and Company, and Time to Travel. Those are my key sponsors, my gold level sponsors for my website. So uh, contact me, hunter at astralwx.com, if you'd like more information on uh, how to become a gold sponsor. So Grimes Tice Anderson, downtown Asheville camera. That ceiling is uh, pretty low around Asheville. Bannerelk.com live camera, though. A little bit brighter there around town. Let's check out some of these other ones. Haywood County Farm Bureau camera. I think all of these are going to see some snow here uh, as that. Uh, you can see the low fog has uh, lifted out in Haywood County, but as we compare it to uh, downtown Hendersonville, still somewhat nasty. But when you contrast that, going back to Canton, we'll see those blue skies, paper mill, uh, working town of Canton and uh, the Swannanoa River Valley camera over here. We've got I-40 US-74 there, Cabbage Rose camera out here in Maggie Valley, Affairs of the Hearts camera here in Waynesville, and then Haywood Community College camera there, US-74. So we've got all kinds of cameras around town. You can check out these, AshevilleWX.com backslash WNC webcams. And uh, we'll have another one coming on here in just a bit. Um, but uh, let's go ahead, look at my uh, snowfall map here. Let me get this pulled up for you folks and make it full screen. So I am thinking that uh, two to four inches of, of snowfall will be possible on elevated grassy surfaces. Probably not going to accumulate as much on the roadways because of how warm temperatures have been, but it's going to come in quick. It's going to be fast, and uh, it's going to be cold the rest of the day Saturday. So the sun may melt some on the roads, but it's not going to do too much damage uh, around, uh, in, especially in those shaded areas. So I think two to four is possible around Asheville as you get closer to the airport. I think, you know, we're going to fall off to uh, maybe around two inches, one to two inches, one to three inches is what I've called it out as. Waynesville, I'm thinking two to four inches will be possible. Bryson City going to be right on that two to four, one to three line. Silva, uh, as that downsloping occurs and you guys have those a uh, little bit warmer temperatures, uh, I think that you'll see a sleet to snow mix with possible an inch, uh, two, two inches, a couple inches could be possible. Rivard, I'm thinking you guys are going to be right on that line, um, but could see a sloppy inch of snow, uh, maybe two. And uh, Hendersonville as well uh, will be seeing that snowfall early tomorrow morning as that deformation feature. And then Northwest Flow is going to hammer these areas here uh, in the pink. I believe as uh, the day progresses through Saturday, I think places like Burnsville could even see four to eight inches plus. You know, uh, this this event somewhat reminding me of what we saw back uh, January 29th and 30th. Uh, a little bit less intense of an event, but I think we should we could still get that banding occurring in those streamers that set up. I think that Banner Elk could see four to eight inches. Boone could be on that four to eight inch line, probably lower end, so four to six inches for Boone. But I do think that the chance for accumulating snowfall is certainly there for most all of you around West North Carolina. And then some redevelopment that's going to occur as the uh, storm traverses North Carolina. Uh, I think it may pit, it may miss Hickory or Morganton, one of these two right here. I don't know exactly where my stripe is going to set up at, but then we'll get a deformation band that redevelops, and somewhere uh, here north of Statesville, closer to Greensboro, could get another you know dusting to an inch of snow as this exits. But that northwest flow will kick up here along the border counties, and uh, you know really even thinking places like Gatlinburg, this yellow area could extend all the way out here 
along the uh, North Carolina-Tennessee border because it looks like Johnson City could see two to four inches as well. All those like Flag Pond, Tennessee, all those locations up against the Tennessee border there. Uh, as that upslope kind of occurs, that snow will get condensed and uh, we're, we're really just seeing a steepening of the trough that's occurring as a uh, as the models kind of refine this, and uh, let's go ahead and turn around to a few of these short range models. Uh, I've got the uh, HRR model up right now on my screen, and I just kind of wanted to show you guys how this event progresses. And so you can see uh, this is around 8 o'clock tonight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, right around 4 o'clock there, 5, six you can see that heavy snow it's eight you can see heavy snow developing as that low really deepens i mean you're seeing this low pressure really drop i mean almost 10 yeah 10 millibars here in like you know eight hours so you know that is the wind so what what that means is these winds are just going to run to compensate it they're going to wisp across the mountains of western North Carolina. You can see these streamers starting to develop off the Great Lakes. It's going to wisp across the uh, mountains of western North Carolina. And that's going to cause those streamers to get out of the containment zone. Look at that. I think that that's going to be a band of snow that lasts even through noon hours. And then these streamers pick up. You know, look at those. Wow. You know, how far, you know, if, if those go a little bit farther south, we could even get in on some more snow action Saturday night. Wow, that's just a really intense storm. Uh, lots of dynamics here to keep track of, and uh, then I'll just then we'll show you the snowfall maps that uh, the that the HRR is putting out. So let's zoom in just a little bit more locally, so that you can see what's going on there. Get our snowfall map up. Let's just do one image here. So this is your snowfall through uh, tomorrow at 11 a.m. So this model's showing three and four inches of, of snow, um, you know, for all of Buncombe County. So a, a really interesting setup, five to six inches in, uh, in Burnsville, uh, Yancey County. Just a pretty stout little backside. It's a deformation feature, but the trough steepens as the low pressure comes through. So it, the backside energy really gets going on this. And uh, we've got the low that gets captured somewhat by the upper level low. And you can see this model has consistently been showing um, some snowfall. Let's, let's pull it back just a little bit. So last time it ran out this far, it's showing four inches of snow consistently. Let's see. You see the HRR, it runs every six hours. It goes out to 48 hours. Typically, it only runs to 18. So this is just showing 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's about as far out as we've got. Um, but still consistent with the uh, with the longer range HRR. And uh, it's in agreement with the NAM 3KM here. So as I pull up the NAM 3KM, check this out. So around 5, 6 a.m., uh, this is really getting going. This is 4 a.m. So if you're a snow lover, you're wanting to see that snow switch one last time for this season, probably wake up around 4 or 5 a.m. You may get woken up to uh, the sleet on your roof. It's going to be heavy, and uh, it may wake you up a couple pingers on your roof, but then that snow switches almost completely to heavy snow here by 5 a.m., 6 a.m. still the band the trough is just steepened up so you know this is flowing somewhat from the southwest and uh, then it's going to switch to the northwest but you know we've got an interesting little feature that's going to develop right here and as it as the morning progresses 7 a.m. 8 a.m. that feature becomes more defined and uh, and then the downsloping occurs then we see a switch to northwest flow streamers here on this back side you can see that enhancement coming in and by noon we've got those streamers that have developed across uh, western North Carolina. I do think that probably by uh, probably by early Sunday morning uh, this should be uh, out of here but the wind gusts are going to be a main story. You know this model's showing 41. I, I'm thinking uh, mid 30s, low to mid 30s as possible but you know as the afternoon progresses Saturday I mean it's just nasty around western North Carolina. Cold. I mean look at the temperatures. Cold, 23 degrees at uh, 5 a.m. 
at 2 p.m. Uh, I'm sorry, two, 5 p.m. and then 2 p.m. Uh, 25 degrees. And then as the morning progresses, I mean, 5 a.m. looks like we're going to get around 16 degrees, uh, 15 to 16 degrees. Uh, not as cold as uh, what we were seeing, 6 degrees, the GFS uh, put out and pump out for this uh, projected date, but still very cold, cold enough to kill pretty much any of your uh, plants that have budded and leafed out. Uh, it'd be wise to try to get those covered up. Not exactly sure how the snow is going to play into that. Sometimes snow can kind of insulate those plants and keep them around 32, but you know, it's still a frost, and so if they're not frost tolerant, be wise to cover them. But getting as cold as it looks that we will get. Um, I'm contemplating the effort, um, but still going to do my best and cover my plants just to kind of make sure I do everything I can do to uh, to keep them alive. Let's show you the snowfall map that the NAM 3KM is producing. So a little bit lower totals here, but thinking uh, two to three inches around Asheville. So uh, I kind of went in the middle of the short range models. I think two to four inches will be possible around Asheville, and then it just really tapers as you go south. This this model this is, marker right here is showing downtown Asheville. You guys know the airport is closer to the Henderson County, Buncombe County border. So it looks like we taper as we go farther south. I think we could have a streamer set up here and that's what gets uh, Henderson County at snow. Transylvania County will struggle, in my opinion, to see accumulating snowfall. The fact that the snow will arrive a little later and uh, that there's no northwest flow component uh, could you know, become a factor there. Uh, let's pull up my map one last time and we'll just discuss this kind of my thoughts since I've showed you the models you can see Boone Banner Elk Burnsville areas we're thinking four to eight inches will be possible especially as that Northwest flow really enhances Marshall Mars Hill um, you know I'm thinking that you guys will be in that two to four inch snowfall range and uh, you know if, if you don't see that two Two inch threshold, you know, by tomorrow morning, you know, eight and eight a.m. You know, wait, we could see some northwest flow kick up, and by uh, ten, eleven noon, we could be seeing really strong winds and uh, snow showers really pick up, uh, especially north of Asheville in those typical areas that do see those snow showers. You know, the farther south of Asheville you go, that downsloping does occur, and so uh, it's uh, downsloping is a drying out of the clouds, and so the snow just doesn't tend to get out that far. You know, when it's when it's 20 to 25 degrees though and there's and there's 40 mile per hour winds that all plays into how far that snow really does push out of the mountains so kind of a difficult equation to put together there's not really variables that i can just go and pull to tell you exactly where the snow is going to fall but uh, i do my best to kind of put out this map to give you my ideas of uh, where i think things will come to and uh, i can zoom in for you guys as well if you need to kind of see real close what uh what totals andrews murphy i'm thinking is in the one to three inches franklin one to three as well waynesville uh <clears throat> we've got the affairs of the hearts camera I'm thinking that they're in the two to four zone so uh, the cabbage rose maggie valley camera as well will be in that zone and uh, our new swan and noah camera over here as well is going to be in that two to four zone so uh lots to watch for here in western north carolina as the evening progresses as day breaks Tomorrow could wake up to a wintry wonderland. I'd expect this to be a pretty uh, moist and uh, wet snow that sticks to most things at the very beginning. That northwest flow on the backside is going to be a little bit drier composition of snow. But uh, we could see a coating on, uh, on all elevated surfaces and, and even those leafed out trees that uh, could be beautiful around western North Carolina. So watch for that. And... Uh, let me know your snowfall totals. Uh, chime in tomorrow. Send me a uh, send me a message. Uh, chime in on our Asheville WX weather community. Give me a follow on Instagram uh, at AVLWX. Follow me on Twitter at HV Ward. And uh, you guys know my Facebook page, Asheville WX. And uh, we'll have the website rolling. We'll have all live 14 cameras up. So uh, just check it out. Watch the snowfall and uh, give me your reports. I appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, we'll check back with you soon.